Hi, I'm Zoe Brown and this is the house of JC LaRue, South Africa's first home dedicated to sparkling wine. No wonder it is called Home of Celebration. Come, take a tour with me and discover why this title is so deserving. The house of JC LaRue is set on a historic farm in the heart of Devon Valley in Stellenbosch. And looking around, it's quite easy to understand why. These are some of the most picturesque scenes and surroundings in the world. Of course, great bubbly is not guaranteed because of a beautiful view, but location is key. That's why I want to talk to the JC LaRue winemaker Ulrich Holmes to find out exactly why. This is known as the home of celebration because every single bottle of JC LaRue is made right here. Without revealing too many secrets, can you tell me what is the process involved when you make a bottle of JC LaRue? Okay, so basically number one is the location. So that will also include the terroir, the soil, the wind direction and then sunlight. And the cultivars on the farm is your Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier, uh, Shiraz, Pinotage and Pinot Gris. Um, and that is the predominantly used cultivars when making sparkling wine. Now I love that we get to stand in the vineyard and talk about sparkling wine. But you know what I like even more about it? I think drinking it. <laughs> yes. I think come let's go taste. Ulrich, I'm enjoying what I'm seeing in front of me. There are five glasses and five sweet treats. Talk me through what I'm about to taste. Okay, so this will be your sparkling and nougat tasting. This has been incredible. It's amazing how when you introduce something sweet or something with dark chocolate to your pairing, how it just elevates the experience. Yeah. Bubbles love company, so the restaurant is the perfect place to add some food to your sparkles. Giovanni's at the house of JC LaRue is ideal for the whole family. They have an extensive menu and there's really something for everyone, whether you're looking for something light or a long lunch. Today I'm trying one of their specialities that they are known for and I'm doing their not so wild pizza which goes perfectly well with my Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> 